welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a cabinet restoration project that my husband and I did just recently using this Rust-Oleum cabinet restoration kit. Uh, everything that you need comes in the kit. Um, you do have to have the paint tinted at the store depending on what you choose. We chose pure white. So I'm going to show you the process of how we did this on our own. It was a little time consuming only because we didn't have a lot of space in our house to take down all the cabinets because um, you're gonna have to paint them, let them dry, you know, several different coats. So you kind of need a lot of room for this. We don't have a lot of room in our kitchen so we were just kind of having to do like a door or two at a time. So like I said, everything that you need comes in the kit, and I believe they gave us these sticks when we were at um, Home Depot is where we purchased this. So it comes with everything you need. I'll show you how everything is used as we go along. Um, this is what our doors look like prior to painting. You're going to remove any hardware and any of the little felt bumpers on your door. and. Again, that's what it looks like before. These are some holes that our hinges made. If you're going to use the same hinges, you don't need to worry about that. But if you're going to change hinges, then you should fill up the holes with some spackle and then lightly sand it to get it smooth. So after you've cleaned the doors up really well, then you're going to move on to the first step and that is the deglosser. It's a really thin liquid. I do suggest wearing gloves for this step. My husband did not wear gloves. Uh, you're going to apply the deglosser to the green scrub pad that came in the kit and you're just going to use light pressure and just try to scrub every little detail of the door and the surface area and you're trying to get the shiny surface off to create a bonding surface and so once you have uh, scrubbed you know thoroughly with the deglosser then you're going to want to take a damp cloth and wipe all of that off it does create sort of like a suds i guess like a soapy residue and you're want to you're going to want to get every bit of that off and then allow your surface to dry if you have any areas that need sanding or where maybe some paint has chipped off. You can see here that we had painted these doors years ago. They were originally just brown wood, um, but you're gonna you're gonna want to sand that down and just um, use the deglosser on that as well. And the deglosser actually does help to kind of smooth out those surfaces. So my husband is now putting on step three i did not get a chance to film step two but basically it was just the bond coat and that's just the paint so after you've painted two coats of the number two bond coat and that's dried then the optional glaze which we chose to do here you don't have to use this but if you want to do the glaze then you're going to take a paintbrush and just start going over um, the freshly painted area with it and then I'll show you here in a minute this is what it looks like after you've taken the glaze off so what you do is you paint it on with a paintbrush it does look really dark when you've first painted it on as you can see but then you take one of the white cloths that comes in the kit and you just start wiping that off and you're gonna see that here in just a minute um, right now he's just painting on the glaze and this is the cloth that comes with the kit so you're going to take that and just start wiping the glaze off um, it does take some time but you, you're going to want to do that of course before it dries so after you've applied it then just take the cloth and start wiping down and what my husband decided to do what he thought looked really good was to just use different amounts of pressure um, as he went along wiping it off so that it had a more, I guess, natural weathered look to it. So he's just taking the cloth, like I said, and then just, you know, continuing to wipe. If your cloth gets 
too covered in the glaze and just you know it comes with a lot so you're gonna have plenty um, of the cloths to work with by the way excuse my voice I'm just recovering from the flu so if I sound froggy then that's why so he's just continuing to wipe this down Just a little side note here too, you're going to want to do some prep work um, before you do this. As you notice, we didn't mark off you know, with painter's tape or plastic on anything, but that's because we're going to be painting our walls as well as redoing the countertops. So we kind of really didn't worry about that too much. Um, but if you're not painting or anything like that, you're going to want to you know, make sure that you cover all that up. So this is what it looks like finished. Um, you can make it darker, you can make it lighter. We do go back here in just a little bit and you can see and glaze the inside of the doors. So it just gives it kind of a weathered vintage look, I guess. And then we're going to move on to step four, which is the top coat. And it is clear, even though it looks white in the can. So you're just going to take you know, a regular paintbrush and just apply that after the glaze has dried. And it just kind of gives it a really protective coat so that you can avoid any scratches or anything like that. There you can kind of see what it looks like when it's dry. It's kind of a little sheen, not too shiny, but just enough. And then this is the hardware that we chose to put back on. We've got the same color on the doors although I would have preferred the longer handles but we just didn't do that maybe later and finally you're just gonna want to apply some of these felt pads to the inside corners of your door and that's it it's a very simple process to do this like I said it was quite a bit time-consuming but I feel like that was just because of the minimal amount of space that we had available to you know, paint the doors so that's basically it for the exterior part of the cabinets and as you can see there the interior I had not painted yet but I did decide to go back here and remove everything from the cabinets and go ahead and give the insides a coat of paint as well I just use regular Glidden white paint um, <laughs> just a little entertainment there and it did take several coats to get that done and then I'll show you the final result here at the end. If you like these types of videos, I'm going to be posting a lot more because um, as I've said in you know the past videos that I've had that we're going to be doing a lot of renovations on our house because we're getting it ready to sell. And I'm going to be trying to film most of them and you know, uploading it here on my channel. So if you have any suggestions or opinions or comments, please feel free to drop that in the comment section below. And also, if you enjoyed this video, just give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. I'm posting about every two weeks at this point, but I'd like to get a more weekly schedule going. And just give me some ideas of any content you would like to see. So I hope you enjoy the rest of this video and I'll see you in my next one.